Um, how many kids do you have? I got three. Three. All right. Be honest. Which one's your favorite? Hey guys, how's it going? David Tortosa here. Um, right now we are in Marco's car. Um, the only thing that we're missing is Marco himself. Um, but he's inside getting a little, you know, makeup, little touch-ups here and there, the usual. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go around Las Vegas and service some copiers. So we're gonna bring you guys along with us. All right guys, so now I'm in the car with Marco. Marco, say hi to the people. Good morning, people. I am Marco Rico, service technician with AIS. So Marco, where are we going? Who are we visiting and what are we doing? Well, right now we're gonna go to uh, Somerset Centennial. Uh, we're gonna work on a printer that is causing uh, constantly paper jams. Right. So we're gonna take a look at it to see what's wrong with that printer. So one thing that you did tell me, Marco, is that you grew from position to position. So you're, you've been in the company for a while. And so you told me that you became a toner delivery agent and then you grew into the, pos the position that you have now. So how was that process? Well, it was, um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a challenge coming from me that I didn't know nothing about copiers. I didn't even know how to make a copy. And then when they were training me and like when I saw Roger or Don teaching me how to, how to replace feet rollers, it looked so difficult. It would look like I was thinking inside my head, I was like, am I gonna be able to do this or not? Cause this looks extremely difficult, you know? And now at this point, you know, it's just like so easy. You know, I sometimes, I used to time myself how fast could I replace feet rollers. And, um, but yeah, but when I first saw it, it was just like, oh my God, this is, this is crazy. <laughs> So for those toner delivery people that are in, in our business now, is it a difficult process to transition to a technician or is it kind of based off of, you know, how well, how well you learn or how fast you learn? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of both, you yeah. know? Okay. It's, it's, it's how well you learn and how fast. There's certain parts of the machines that are really sensitive and they can get really expensive and you don't want to damage you don't want to damage them just because of the fact that you don't want to cause a big mess on the copiers and then become more expensive for us to replace it. All right, so this new game that I created for um, the ride-alongs is just to get to know Marco a little bit more. Um, so it's, called, it's a game called Quick Questions. So you'll spend five to 10 seconds answering the question. If the question is interesting enough, we'll spend more time on it. All right, so first question, what's your favorite food? Mexican food. Mexican food. Strangest thing you've eaten? Alligator tails, which we tried them in New Orleans. Explain more on that. Uh, it's, um, they have, uh, they don't have a bad taste. It's just that they're really greasy. They kind of taste like, like a sausage, like a greasy sausage. Okay, favorite sport? Soccer. Favorite team? Club America. All right, what is your favorite music? I like to listen to all type of music, all types. Uh, but I will go for Spanish rock and salsa. Okay, quick out of all these bands. And then in, in, our, in AIS, we have a running board of everybody's favorite interest, favorite music, so on and so forth. So I want you to pick out of these three, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Metallica, or Pearl, or Pearl Jam? Red Hot Chili Peppers. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Any weird habits? Uh, probably just when you get out of when I get out of the bed, I always try to get it. I always try to get uh, up with my right leg. Why? It's just, it's just a habit. You it's know? just it's a just, habit. It's just a, it's you know it just it's just a good way to start your day. You know? Cause, yeah. <laughs> I mean that just with the right leg. Yeah, with the right leg. Everybody, that's a tip. <laughs> Use your right leg. <laughs> I even, right. I even sleep on the right side of the bed, you know? Okay, so you're going to have to have your right leg. Because yeah. if you get your left leg out... Yeah, no, I have okay. to... Okay, that you made it, less, you made it less, sound less weird. Okay. <laughs> um, how many kids do you have? I got three. Three. All right, be honest, which one's your favorite? All of them. They're all different. So, <laughs> so I love all of them. Got the it. same. Got it. 
So Margo, it's very interesting just to hear a lot of technician answers, technicians answers on how they got started in the copier industry. Um, one that I heard that their brother started doing it and then just kind of trickled down to the family. So I just want to know how you got started in the copier industry. Well, I used to, a little bit of my uh, background is just, I used to work in the casinos on the food industry, right? So I wanted to try something different. Okay. So, oh, so you used to work in the food and beverage industry? Yes. Oh. Uh, so I wanted to try something different because I was, you know, I was just tired of being in the kitchen. Or, yeah, I was in that industry. Know, I was tired so it's just like, it, it got to a point that I was not enjoying it anymore. Right. Um, so they told me, hey, you know what? They have this position available. It's for a toner delivery, you know? And I was like, all right, let's try it. Yeah. You know, why not? Let's, let's try something different. Right. So, and then from there, I just, like I told you, I got so comfortable being on a toner delivery. I got to a point that it's just like, okay, I'm just here. I'm not going up or down. Yeah, I'm you just, want to try something new. Yep, I just, right. I'm here and then I wanted to try something new. Right. And I, you know, I will see the technicians working. It seems to be pretty fun. Yeah. When I used to walk by the tech room, I was like, oh, so that's pretty going. cool, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that kind of caught my eye and I was like, oh, I want to be a technician. It's been great. It's been yeah. a great journey. It's been, I mean, it's just, it's been amazing. So far, it's been, it's been so, so amazing, you know? Right.